Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And our live game is Via Real against Real Betis. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Nabil Fekir. He's just so hard to stop when he's moving at pace, Peter. He's got real end product too and the opposition defence will be wanting to make sure he doesn't get any shots away. I think he's going to add a lot of dynamism to this attack and that might prove decisive today. Well, quite no argument from me on that one. Goes long. Going for goal! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence unsettled, and now they've got to back it up. Who's going to make this theirs? And it's Moreno. Into the channel. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Fakir. Fakir. Fakir delivers. He's dealt with that well. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Ibora pumps it upfield. Looks like a good ball through. Defence has got rid of that. Alcacer goes for goal! Goal! Villarreal! And it's Villarreal who take the lead! Gerard Moreno just stayed on the right side of the defender there. I thought he showed wonderful patience, great experience to just make sure he didn't drift offside. And I just thought all around it was very intelligent play. Villarreal take the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Mondi. He's gone long. Well, that's where he wants it. It's a long forward pass. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. William Carvalho cuts it out. William Carvalho. Pozzola positions himself well and cuts it out. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Villarreal hit for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. Villarreal carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Ibora. Raul Albiol. Torejo. Fasola tries the route one option. Tries a through ball. Shoots! He's missed, but not by that far. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Mondi. Oh, 
ball's come loose and the chase is on. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or just getting a runner through the middle now. Played out to the wing. Hits it first time! Fair effort, he reacted well. Real Betis had players queuing in the box in that situation, and they've still got nothing to show for it. What a complete and utter waste. Raul Albiol. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Peña plays a clever pass. They've managed to get it away. And it's Cazola. Fires from distance. Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. It's unusual not to see him make the keeper work. I mean, his accuracy from that type of area is so often better. <laughs> Peña kicks it up from the goal kick. Parejo. Moreno is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. Bartra. Spoon forward. Where to from here? Fakir floats one over. And he's there to cut it out. Trigueros. Cazola. Tries to get it forward quickly. Looks to slip it through. Out of play for a goal kick. Villarreal just have to run down the clock. Parejo. Time added on four minutes. Cazorla. No, that's not going to find its target. And that's that. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tight.